We are back here on Carolina Women. Our friend Amy has joined us and we're gonna talk about insurance. And whenever we say we're gonna talk about insurance, it's sort of like, ooh, I'm either going to be intimidated mm -hmm. by it um, or I don't even know if I want to. But every time we talk, I think we all learn something different and really yeah. important. Last time we were chatting, we started talking a little bit about life insurance, mm -hmm. such a broad topic. So I'd love to kind of delve into that a little bit if we yeah, can. Absolutely. And you know, you're right. Insurance can be intimidating for some folks. We kind of want to, you know, even as an agent, you know, right. managing my own policies, there are times that I would rather just, you know, <laughs> think about that another day. But life insurance can be tailored regardless of age and even occupation or health. Um, traditionally, there are three types of policies. Okay. There's term insurance. Term is just what it sounds. It's a policy that provides a death benefit for a specified period of time, normally 10 years, 20 years, or 30 years. So what would that one look like? Who would typically choose a term policy? So term policies can be offered through work. That's where a lot of people ah. are used to hearing, well, I have coverage through work. That normally is a policy that is with them while they are in employment. Okay. The catch there is that policy is owned by the employer. When you leave, oh. that policy may or may not go with you. So so when you're young and you're healthy, looking at a term policy, if you have student loan debt, a mortgage, any liabilities, that term insurance can provide a large death benefit for a small premium. Again, that rate is going to stay the same. So for example, if you're 24 years old and uh -huh. you have a 30 year term, you will be 24 in the eyes of that term policy until you were 54. That rate will not change. Wow. Okay. Okay. The most important thing is as we get closer to the end of that term is talking about what our options are. Do we need to convert or take some of that and make it a, what they call a permanent or a whole life policy? So now I'm 50. I've got right. two years until that term policy mm -hmm is up, I got it at 24, now what do I do? Well, prior to that, every two or three years, you and I are gonna touch base with each other and say, okay. what's changed in your life? Have you gotten married? Have you bought a home? Do we need to increase the current term policy? Got it. Do we need to decrease it? Do we need to make any modifications? But the closer we get towards the end of that term, we're gonna come back together and say, all right, do we wanna take 25 or 50,000 of this? convert it. The beautiful part of that is there's usually with most carriers no medical underwriting. So even if you now have a chronic condition you did not have in your early 20s, you're not going to be rated for that. You're going to now be looked at at your current age for the permanent policy, but not underwritten for any medical issues. It's so funny as I'm sitting here smiling, I'm go I just said, oh, it's intimidating or like this, and I, I now I have like 75,000 questions I want to ask. <laughs> We've got about two minutes, so I want to go to the next, I at least yeah. want to get through the three yeah. times, yep. and yep. then we'll go back, And Number so the, the third one's kind of a hybrid. It's called a return of premium policy. Not all carriers have this. Um, we do specifically here at, you know, representing State Farm, we sure. have a return of premium that says, you know what, I kind of want the best of both worlds. I want a policy, but what if at the end of that 20 years or 30 years, I just want my premium back? I'm not oh, worried about a whole right. life policy. Um, this is very um, popular with our, my self-employed policyholders or those that are having oh. mortgages that say, you know what? I'm gonna take out a 30 year term policy and at the end of 30 years, I'm gonna take that premium. It comes to you in a lump sum check it is not taxable because you've used after-tax dollars. I'm either gonna supplement my retirement, I'm gonna pay off my mortgage, mm -hmm. or I'm going to use it for whatever I intend to use it for. So again, it works just like a term policy. It is going to have an end date, but at the end date, that money comes back to you in a lump sum check. I tell you, if we do nothing else in these segments other than get people interested and sort of tease the process, yeah. it is worth it because this is fascinating. And what you do is put it into language, I think, that I can understand and most of us can understand. So thank you for that. You're and welcome. stay with us. There's a lot more to come here on Carolina Women.